Welcome to another 3ABN Today program. Thank you for joining us as you do each and every day. And thank you for your love and your prayers and financial support of 3ABN as we endeavor to take this great gospel of the kingdom into all the world. I have my co-host here with me, Dr. Yvonne Lewis. And Dr. Yvonne, we have an incredible program lined out today. I know. I'm excited. Oh, and we've already prayed and asked the Holy Spirit, right? Absolutely. So we know he's here, so that's that's exciting if nothing else, right? That's right. And and we have some great guests today. We do. But they're family. And then we have someone on the phone from England who's actually traveling down the highway. So this (laughs) is what a great time that we're, we're living in, right? Amen. You can be here in southern Illinois and in farmland and farming communities and coal mines and be talking to somebody in their vehicle over in um, uh, London area. So right now, though, I'm going to introduce to you the folk that we have here. And this is all family, so I'm sure you know them. If you don't, doc- I call him Dr. Moses Primo. <laughs> and Mo, uh, thank you so much for being here. And yeah. praise the Lord for what you are doing. And of course, you're a, a head of, of, of your broadcast engineer or the I'm just going to say you're the brains behind 3ABN. <laughs> the rest of us are pretty faces, you know. Well, <laughs> maybe I meant pretty faces, okay, with Yvonne. But, but uh, Mo's the brains behind it, and we're going to talk a little bit more. So now I'm not going to uplift him today, but we're going to uplift Jesus Amen. in him, that if anyone who's willing to be used of God can be used beyond your wildest dreams and imaginations. I, I, I can say this without even asking Mo. I'm sure that when you were a little boy, you never dreamed you would be doing what you're doing no. that's causing such an impact for the cause of God around the world. Yeah, I wonder why my mother gave me this name, but uh, <laughs> maybe uh, it was uh, God that was uh, preparing me there for, go, for that. Moses, the Moses. Leader out there. there you go, all let right. Let my people go. Yeah. Let, let my people go, all right. So next to him, of course, is Pastor John Lomacang, World yeah. Evangelism Director for 3ABN. Good to be John, here. this is going to be an incredible program because we know something oh, folks yeah. Folk at home don't know, right? I know we have but to. But we're getting we're ready to share on. with them. <laughs> so we're glad you're here. And then, of course, we have Pastor C. A. Murray, and General Manager of Proclaim. But that's really one small thing that C. A. does. Yes. We, he literally wears as many hats as anybody in this ministry. And no matter when or where, when you call him, he's up for it. If it's to go to London and preach, or if it's to go wherever in the world, he and Irma say, "Let's go. We'll do it." And uh, appreciate all of you guys and love you as brothers in the Lord and just brothers, period, uh, for what you do for the cause of God. And C.A. said before, people say, do we like each other? No, we love each other. In fact, <laughs> last weekend, we, we, after church, we're all here. We're not always, you know, in the area. So, so um, we had C.A. And, and, and John and uh, Angie and C.A. and Irma came and they stayed the whole day. They stayed the whole evening. I think went home at one in the morning. Pastor John and Angie came over, <laughs> ate lunch, and then afterwards, yep. they went home for about two or three hours, and they got a phone call. What are you guys doing? I said, well, C.A. and Irma's here. They said, well, we're coming over. <laughs> so, so they came over to about one o'clock, and then Dr. Moe came over the next day, and you and I played ping pong, right? right. Down the basement we went, oh, and John man. and C.A. and I, we all played ping pong. So old people have fun, too. <laughs> yeah. you know? Just don't think because you're oh. young you, you've got any license or anything on having fun. But you can have great Christian Amen. fun when you're with brothers and sisters right. in the Lord. We had a great time, right? We you and really Angie did. and Irma. Oh, we yeah. had everybody a great together. Time. Great food. Speak, uh, great food. Oh, yeah. speaking, of, speaking of a great time and, and a great friend and someone doing a great and mighty and marvelous work for the Lord, we have Dr. Osei, who's the president of the South England Conference. 
and uh, he's traveling by vehicle, so we hope that we still have a connection, but we have some incredible news, and we wanted to share it with him. Dr. Osei, are you online with us? Yes, I am. Good afternoon, and thank you for having me. It's great uh, to be here. Oh, we, we, we learned to love this man over when we went to uh, London and did our series some time ago, and uh, we saw his love and his vision for ministry and his passion for ministry and his passion for souls. And so we're so thankful that uh, we were able to come to your great country and uh, to your great city there in London and work together. And now we have some other news that we want to share with you and we're so excited about. But for all of our viewers, we wanted you to know that 3ABN, and Moses is going to put up some facts and figures here in a little bit. We're going to email them to you so you can share with everybody in your area. But when we were there, we would hold, we had like 14 meetings going. This is for the audience at home. We had like 14 meetings. Each night, a few hundred people would show up at each meeting. We had a number of baptisms. That was all big praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. But during the day, as we walked down the streets, going by Big Ben or going by the Eye and going downtown London, you said, Lord, how are we going to reach the masses? There's millions of people that aren't coming to our meetings. That's right. Millions. How are we going to do that? Well, Moses got involved, and so he began to look at the technical. Moses is a technical mind. The rest of us, sometimes we're visionary, and let's go do this or that, but we couldn't do it without the Moses, and the Bible is pretty clear on that, too. You know, we, you need a Moses. You need a leader. So Dr. Moses has been working for nearly two years uh, to see how can we get television uh, in the London area in England. What we found out, Moses, and, and I want to be right about this, something happened in January of this year. Up until January this year, you couldn't have, is it Christian television? Yes, or? it was actually, it started uh, in the, the end of uh, last year in 2016. Uh, there were no uh, other um, companies that were not uh, EU uh, allowed uh, in to do broadcasting. In, uh, in the UK. But uh, in 2015, we had applied, uh, and, uh, and then in 2016, uh, the, there was the first uh, uh, Christian television that was uh, launched there. TBN. And then, TBN, and then okay. right after that, it started to open up for others. So I immediately ap apply, and uh, we got uh, a license to be on channel 244. It's a package of uh, channels that uh, is uh, included also in the free view. So if you're watching from uh, UK, you know about free view. And if you have a free view, just tune right now to 244 and you'll be able to watch 3ABN, you'll be able to watch uh, Dare to Dream, and soon we'll be able to watch all, all the other channels as well. We, I have a report here that says over 11 million households, 42% of UK households are on Freeview. Now, what this means is this is, Dr. O say, this is not just London. We See, God always does bigger than what we ask. Amen. But we were asking for London, 8 million people. But the Lord didn't only give us London. He's given us, when Moses first told me, I said, that's all of England? He said, no. That's not only all of England, but that's Scotland, that's Northern Ireland, and Wales. The whole United Woo! Kingdom. All right, thank that's you. A, that's thank a, you that Yvonne. is a two-hander right there. Thank you. Somebody's excited about that. <laughs> so the fact that we're literally, and it's not going to happen, we're already on. Yeah, As amen. of just recently, 3ABN and Dare to Dream. We're hoping in the next few weeks, we're going to have at least uh, all the rest of our, our channels, CA, you proclaim will be on there. So this will be available to millions and millions of people. Now, without getting into too much technical, Dr. will say, but those who have uh, the new smart TVs and Wi-Fi, many of those will also, we're hoping millions, be able to watch 3ABN. But we wanted to let you be the first to know that 3ABN is there, and we want to work with you because we see your vision and your passion uh, for getting the gospel to the world. But we also wanted to let you know we want to give you several hours a day of programming time 
so that you can produce programming that will be for the local people in the UK and help drive people to our churches. Wow. Danny, Danny this, is, this is really exciting news. Um, I'm, I'm really thrilled to know that God is opening doors for the, the promulgation of the gospel. Uh, we never would have dreamt that we would have the opportunity of going um, on air uh, presenting uh, messages, the Adventist message to uh, the, uh, the population here in Britain. And you have just called to share with me that um, you know, this is going to happen and that we in Britain will have a part to play. Now, um, I know that when I share this with my officers there in the South England Conference, they are going to be very excited um, about this opportunity that has been afforded to us. We praise the Lord again for your willingness to work together because, you know, we're all, the Bible talks about members, you know, and, but members of the body. Mm -hmm. And that's the way we are as a church and as a people. So working together. Now, I know that you all have some video production companies there, and you're doing a lot of video work. So we're looking forward to sharing a channel with you and uh, so that you all can put up several hours every day of programming, inviting people into local churches any way you want to do it. It's, it's basically, in other words, this time is your time and however you want to do it, and we will assist you in any way that we can. But as you just said, and as he just said, we were all, this was, what, in 2015. Mm -hmm. Is there any way to reach these people? Impossible. Oh. 2016. Is there any way to reach these people? But God broke that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And to Amen. think now that Christian television can be throughout Great Britain, is amazing to us, but I'm sure it's more amazing to you living there, Doctor will say. Oh, yes, Danny. I mean, um, we've always been um, doing evangelistic series. In fact, the last time uh, 3ABN um, partners was partnered with the South England Conference, we were able to hold a series of meetings in a number of our churches, but um, you would appreciate that when we're doing outreach, very often we are speaking to ourselves or at least to a small yes. minority. Uh, but now what this opportunity has given us is the um, ability now to speak to um, literally millions of people who would tune in to um, our programs. And, yes. and that's a real blessing. That, that's something that we haven't um, conjured up by ourselves. This is a gift from God. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. yes, Amen. Absolutely. Amen. John, Pastor before he leaves, Pastor Loma King, you have anything you want to add? Well, the doctor will say. Well, Doctor will say, just to let you know, as um, humbly as Director of World Evangelism, we see that the Lord is, is ahead of us. Mm -hmm. uh, he says, as Ellen White says, he would work completely contrary to any human planning. <laughs> and we thank the Lord that he's blessing us uh, in a very powerful way, helping us to know that. Uh, this is a work that he has blessed 3ABN with. Thank you for the labor of uh, Moses Primo because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the Lord blesses our labor. But now we don't have to talk to just those who are Christians because, as you know, there's a growing non-Christian population in the UK. I mean, tremendously, yeah. just, between 19, just between 2001 and 2011, Christianity has shrunk by 10%. But every other religion, Hinduism, Buddhism, Islam, has grown uh, doubled. And so now we have the opportunity to reach into homes and uh, as we're told in the Bible, into the highways and hedges. Now we can go into the homes and hearts of the people. So God is preparing uh, the UK for the expansion of the gospel. And now that uh, Danny has given me the assignment to work on a booklet about the three angels' messages. Yes. I, I, I just talked about this. I spoke to my wife. I said, since it is a worldwide message, it should be translated into every language. That's right. So That's that it can right. carry the message to all the world. So mm -hmm. whatever the Lord opens the door for us to do with you again in the future, a doctor will say we are with you and praise the Lord for that. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that. Yeah. Also, um, I wanted to let you know that we call it a bouquet, bouquet when you go into the different channels and you open up 240, 244. 244, you'll see 3ABN along with a, a lot of other channels. 
One of those we're right alongside with is a Muslim channel. Hmm. So while we, we, we will, in other words, there's a million and a half, I understand, Muslims just in London. I don't know how many in all the UK. And those figures could be off a little bit, but it's similar to that. So everybody watching that channel can watch 3ABN and vice versa. Everybody watching 3ABN can watch the Muslim channel should they choose. So that's the beauty of this. There's a number of different uh, broadcasts, not necessarily Christian, that are on, but we're there with them. So this makes it open for everybody. You know, you know, Danny, I think um, as God opens different doors for us, different avenues, um, it gives opportunity. And this is God's work. It's okay. ultimately the work of the Holy Spirit who's going to impress upon the hearts of um, individuals when they tune in. Um, yes, there may be other um, denominations which might be um, broadcasting as well, but God is, has a way of directing people to Absolutely. listen to a message that 3 ABM might be um, putting on at that particular point in time. This is God's work, and only eternity will tell what the real outcome of this is going to be. So we give God thanks for what He has done and what He is doing and what He will do. Hey, Doctor, I'll say I just want to mention that uh, we just started uh, this uh, new channel, 3ABN and uh, Dare to Dream, not too long ago. And uh, I got uh, this morning a uh, first report that without any advertisement, without telling anybody that uh, we are broadcasting on channel 244, we re I received this first report that more than a thousand people have watched already over uh, oh, wow. 800 hours of uh, broadcasting have been already watched in this channel so can you imagine what is going to happen when uh, you tell your uh, church members to tell their neighbors and uh, to tell everyone that there is a new channel on a 244 free view this can multiply by thousands and hundreds of hundreds thousands. Hundreds of thousands. Just going on and not, and not advertising to find out hundreds and hundreds of hours are being watched and the average viewer is staying on. Now these are not Seventh-day Adventists. We assume this is the regular population, but they, each viewer turns on and stay in an average of 23 minutes. So we have all, all of the, yes. the, the analysis here and that says they're not just turning and whoops, we'll go off. So these, many of these will be non-Christian folk staying watching a program for 23 minutes on an average, and that's because we just come on. What's it going to be next month, next year? So as you can tell, we're excited, folks. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? When, when we were there, we saw advertisements on the back of buses and other things for, yeah. for yeah. campaigns. If we bought space like that and just let this thing Bus run throughout fortune. the town, you're, you're multiplying your voice so many times. Exponentially. Yeah. Exponentially. Very well said. You're multiplying your voice. And to let the whole UK know something new is coming, something exciting is coming. It's make yeah. you healthier, make you live longer, make you happier, make you a better neighbor, make you a better parent. Yeah. You know, there's so many ways to package this to make yeah. it so usable to a, 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 a population which is not necessarily looking for religion, but needs religion yeah. in the worst way. Well, here's the thing. We should use some of that. Right. It's more expensive, but it's only a one-time deal just for a little while till everybody knows that we're on. Precisely. But a lot of these folk, doctors will say, will just be turning the channels and tune into it. Yep. So that's the beauty of it. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. it's on there. Those with smart televisions uh, that have Wi-Fi, many of those will, we call it stumble on. We think it's divine providence. <laughs> those with the box, they're estimating by 2017, 14 million households by the end of this year is the estimations we have that will have this box hmm. and times three per household, that's 42 million people. There's only like 65 or 70 million, I think, in the UK. So that's why, Yvonne, 75% of, of they're saying estimating will be able to watch now, are able to watch. It's just now getting the word out. 3ABN and Dare to Dream is already on. So doctor will say, thank you again. I know you're traveling. You've got a lot of other calls to make. But we want to thank you so much for being on here today and letting us share this 
news with you and let you know we're looking forward. And whenever you need us to, some of us will come over and, and we can get some rallies together and talk to the folk in the churches. Lovely, lovely. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed for having me. God bless you all. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Dang, this is too exciting, really. This is, you know, <laughs> She's this... going to get up and run. Here, now. <laughs> Settle down. The camera won't be able to follow you. Well, you know, the, I, I, as they're talking, I'm thinking about, look at God. I mean, look at how he gave you the idea to go to London. You mm -hmm. just had like a, uh, an impression an yeah. to go to London. Night, in the morning. Then the team goes over, plants the seeds. Moses deals with the people over there in this in this company and God just took us from an idea to going into homes of people who would never set foot in a church they won't set foot in a church we go right into their homes with the gospel because it just shows me that Jesus is coming back soon mm -hmm. and he's right. getting the gospel to every kindred nation tongue and people everybody there'll be no excuse Mm -hmm. There'll be no excuse because the gospel's going by TV and Dare to Dream. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. <laughs> Dare to Dream is there. Yeah. And so we're, you know, people, I have, I have a sheet here that says that 80... You're, you're getting as many viewers. 8,400 Well, that's just starting views. out. But without, without, yeah, advertising. without advertising. So what we're saying is... Almost 10,000 people it, have seen it. And about as many as the regular 3AB, and it, it's, it's very close. So people watching Dare to Dream... And the other, it's going to be, I mean, a tremendous increase yes. in the amount of viewers. So yes. potentially, there are millions. It's potentially oh, yes. millions will be watching. And there is not only the free view, because the people have in their homes the box to watch the free channels. So uh, they don't have to pay for that. But uh, there are some other people that uh, they, uh, they have uh, the, another box. It's called EETV. Uh, and uh, they have uh, premium channels. So they have the uh, entertainment, mm -hmm. sports, and the news. And uh, the 244 channel is going, is going to be in that box as well. It's on there well. too? Oh. So it's on the EETV wow. uh, box. It's on uh, the regular free view. And uh, it's in all the smart TVs that have internet connected. So you basically are circling the whole UK and saying, you're not going to watch it only if you don't want it to. Right, right. <laughs> because uh, God is giving them this, and may be the last call. I, yeah. I don't know. I'm not saying that it will be the last call, but God is giving them the midnight call, saying, this, this, I'm surrounding you with all these ways and avenues, and also the MySDA TV. We have hundreds of these uh, boxes in, uh, in the UK, and we're still shipping. Uh, Ajman ships, uh, you know, several uh, per week uh, to uh, UK also. Mm -hmm. So people are watching it, and uh, they are getting the three angels message. So it's up to them if they uh, want to accept this right. message or not. But what I'd like to encourage everybody is this. When we were there, we talked to leaders that said it's impossible to be on television. Hmm. If you rented, so I kept telling some of the leaders in communication and others, you need to get on television. They said, this is not America. This is not America. If you rented a one-minute spot on some of these main channels just to advertise meetings, I said, well, why don't we advertise whole meetings? They said, you're probably going to pay twenty to $30,000. May have been pounds, which for would be worse. For a 60-second spot. For like a 60-second spot to advertise on some of these big channels. Mm. Hmm. And, and you're like, but, they said, the government won't allow Christian television, Christian programming. Now, this was less than two years ago. Mm. We're looking at a year and a half or so mm. ago that this happened. And it was. They were that's right, because I kept saying, that's hard for me to believe. There's no, you mean we can't, because the CA said on the back of buses, we would see these signs advertising some meeting, but they said you can't be on the airwaves doing it, so you have to do other means. Now, most people would have walked away from that and said, it's impossible, we're not going to do it. Not Moses. Moses stays over there, 
Now, I think your mother was right. She named you on purpose. <laughs> Moses says, no, there's got to be a way to do it. So he started preparing this road nearly two years ago mm -hmm. for the day when they did open up. Mm -hmm. And then January of, of 17 at least, right? Mm -hmm. So several months ago, literally it's opened up. And 3ABN is now on the air. So thank you, Moses, for your dedication, for your persistence. And when Jesus said, go ye into all the world, that included the UK, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but Amen. the beauty of it is, and I've, I've told our group here, is that it's, we can go to places like New Guinea, which we're in. Uh, a, a evangelist can come like Pastor Carter and draw 100,000 people. And that's wonderful. But a place like the UK, that can't happen. It is, never has happened because the logistics of it, for one thing, trying to get... They say, if you held meetings there, people have to drive so far, right. and to get anywhere, they can't do it. But I kept in my mind, that's funny. Every time they have a big rock concert, there's 30,000 people here at night. You know, that's every time right. they have some big entertainment deal, mm -hmm. there's 30,000 people. But when it comes to churches, you can't get people to drive. Well, now, thanks to you, and we want to say a special thanks to you. Yeah. We, this is a leap of faith for us. You know... We don't have the money, and I've told you that before. We've been struggling. We're really trying to get everything. The last few years, we had spent more money than we were taking in, which is not good for business, but God is blessing us. We're getting back in the black. We're headed towards that. That's good, but we couldn't pass up this to take one or two channels. We're going to take for every network because this is too important to pass up. So we're praying as the Holy Spirit impresses that you would send a donation. You can mark it UK or don't mark it at all. Just say donation and it will help us to because all of these networks, of course, is not free. We're having to pay airtime for that. But praise the Lord, we're able to get on where a year and a half ago was an impossibility. Yes. Yvonne. yes. That's what people, I don't know if you, we're in the business of this, so we know and we struggle with it. We deal with it every day. When it's impossible, it's impossible. You can't change government regulations. I don't care how much you go march and what you go say, and how you complain at home. It doesn't do any good, but God can. God can. Yeah. Okay, well, let me tell you why, because we're talking about what their governments would do, but Jesus says in Isaiah 9, 6, the government shall be upon my shoulder. Yes. <laughs> so he's okay. carrying and he's moving and everything is in his time. Uh, from ancient times, things that are not yet done, saying, I will do all my pleasures. And so God is moving. Uh, where we come in is, you know, when the question was asked, who will go for us? Who will I send and who will go for us? We responded, as God impressed you to go to London, God impressed you to do work in London, here we are, send, here I am, send me. That's right. And so this is the result of responding to the call of God. Because, Danny, this could have been anywhere in the world. I mean, as you yeah. said, we could have gone to New Guinea and come back and we just said, baptize 10,000 people. And the numbers would have been astronomical and we could have said, praise the Lord. But real evangelism today has to enter into areas that are impenetrable right. by normal methods. Mm -hmm. So we can't put a tent in the middle of London. Yeah. That's right. We cannot go and put speakers and yell the gospel to people because the mindset mm -hmm. wouldn't even listen to it. And right now we just looked at an article that said there are, as of 2016, three million Muslims in, in the UK. Three million. Three wow. million and going up. That's not counting Buddhism and, is and Islam and Sikhism and all the other, and secularism and witches and the whole list goes 80, on. 80,000 registered witches in London alone. <laughs> You've never forgotten that. Reg yeah. No, I won't forget that. I mean, so Are here the... we are now. Go ahead. Right. So here we are going possibly. into their homes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you, look, if you look at the, the you know, Psalms 118 says, this is the Lord's doing and it's marvelous. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Beautiful. If you look at the Odyssey, we started in 215. We, we, Danny had their burden. We went over there with a mindset. Let's have one big meeting. Well, the, the city told us one big meeting doesn't work in a town that's too crowded. So we broke it down um, into several meetings. Well, I think what we did, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. Okay. Um, uh, we, we, we broke down a stronghold. Ah, Those okay. meetings broke down a stronghold. Ellen White first went into London in 1885 in August. Mm -hmm. And it was 5 million people then and she was bowled over by the denseness, the packedness, the tightness of the city. And, and she used, she didn't say stronger, but she used those kinds of words that the devil is working hard to keep these people mm -hmm. in darkness. Mm -hmm. So now we go over and we see the same thing. The devil is hard. And, and our, our, our 
legitimacy is verified by the fact that we've gone through three conference presidents. All three have had the same burden. Sam Davis was in and mm -hmm. he had to leave. Dr. Delisha came and his health failed and, and then uh, Dr. Osi was interim president. He is now president mm -hmm. and has been given the, the full-time burden, but all three have carried that. They saw light in what we're doing. They saw the spirit of God in what we're doing and they saw that partnering with 3ABN is going to be a boost to what needs to happen in this city. Mm -hmm. So the meetings were not the end, because we were wondering, how are we going to stay? You know, we can't just come right. and run meetings and then leave. Right. The meetings were just the opening. That crashing you hear was the fortress coming down. It was a stronghold coming down. Mm -hmm. And then Moses is quietly working and working without fanfare, without a lot of noise, without a, just quietly working. All of a sudden, it comes to the surface, and God says, here's the new thing that I'm doing. Okay. From now on, they don't have to come to you. Yeah. We're going to them. That's and right. we're not just going to London. We're taking the whole country. You know, oh, it's, okay. it's, it's God's doing, and it's marvelous in our eyes. Yes. We, we couldn't yeah. dream this. We couldn't envision this. No. If we were sitting down writing out the script, no. we couldn't write it any better than That's this. Right. It's, it's, it's God's no, doing. Actually, I, I actually en I envisioned it better before we went. Because <laughs> say, well, the Lord says go to London. That's yeah. no big deal. We go to there. London. But everybody I talked to, including church leaders here in America, uh, I talked to vice presidents, and they said, you have no idea what you're getting into. And, and this was help, not criticism, but they're saying, we'll pray for you, we'll support you, but it's impossible. You can't just go to London <laughs> and, and, go, and, and hold meetings and, and do public evangelism. It's too expensive. It'll never work. There's no way to reach those people. And no series before we'd been there, they said the last big series had been, in, I think, in the 80s. So it'd been many, many years, mm -hmm. 20, 30 years, right, CA? Mm -hmm. Since they'd had a, a large series till we went. So my thing is, hey, the, Jesus said, go ye into all the world. You know, when I went to Russia in 1992, we saw what was happening. It was impossible to get in there. But I remember the Lord says, uh, give me the heathen for thy inheritance and right. the uttermost parts of the earth for yeah. thy possessions. Yes. In Psalms. And so I went outside in Russia when it seemed totally impossible. The, the governor, uh, Boris Nemtsov, who was assassinated just a year or two ago, was then Governor Julia Ukina's brother, our uh, Russian director. Um, he was telling us, I want you Advent, at the time, we'd never met him until we did. Once you had been out of here, you're not coming back. We, we don't need you over here. We have our own church. But I went outside and I said, Lord, you said go into all the world. So I literally did like this. I planted my feet and I said, Seems like this is just like America. It's mm. terra firma. It's, right. it's, it's dirt. It's earth. You said go ye into all the world. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take you up on this. And so here we are in Russia. And God opened up the doors that today millions, 150 million people potentially. Now we give God credit for that. Yeah. Amen. But in right. this case, we go, I was, you know, uh, sometimes ignorance is bliss, they say. For me, I said, well, I'm not worried about that. We went to Russia right after communism fell, went to Romania, been to Cuba. That doesn't make any difference to me. We go over there, and then every day you have time because your meeting's at night, and you walk and you, you right downtown London. We were there, Big Ben and all the, the eye and all of these famous places. We went to the palace, you know, right? All of us. And walked around, we said, Lord, we're reaching 100. If you put all the meetings together, maybe a few thousand. But there's millions, there's eight million people. That's right. How are we going to do it? You said, go ye into all the world. Mm -hmm. Then I come back and say, wow, what's happening? Moses continues to chip away, chip away, work at it, prepare in advance for something everybody said it's impossible. And it happened that quickly. Hmm. But I have to confess, uh, it says uh, that uh, <laughs> if you confess, it's good for your reputation. It's good for your soul, but hard on your reputation. Hard, hard on your reputation. I have to confess, when you first told us that uh, we're going to London, I, I really said, I said to my wife, I said, Danny is completely crazy. This is not, not going to work. I mean, I've been to London before. Yeah. We went there, and I said, there is, why London? But one thing that uh, I wanted to take out of this uh, whole uh, story here um, is the, the ability of ourselves to make available to God. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, uh, God, I, 
I still think it's crazy, <laughs> mm -hmm. but uh, I, I am available, you know. Okay. And uh, he is the one that put me in contact. He is the one that uh, told me to make uh, the application. He is the one that uh, told me to wait. I didn't push too hard. Yeah. I waited for things to happen. And uh, he is the one that uh, delivered all this uh, possibility to go to these homes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I want to encourage you, if you're watching, make yourself available to Thank God. You. And uh, He will use you. You know, I'm not, uh, I haven't done anything. I, all that I did is God use me. Uh, I think it's crazy to go to London, but uh, you, you, <laughs> you use me in some way. And uh, he, he did, he, he made the miracle. And I want to show you some facts about uh, some uh, charts that uh, we have now. Uh, that I can tell you that uh, this is going to be a, a great possibility to reach people in London that we couldn't before. And uh, now that it's going to be, it's already there. Yeah. That's right. Right. Two like channels that. already on right now as we speak. If you have friends in, in uh, the UK, call them up, tell them to turn to 244, they can watch 3ABN. Yes. Uh, well, we want to some. We want to show graphics, some graphics sure. uh, that uh, shows uh, the potential there. As you can see, is just uh, increasing exponentially. Uh, in 2017, these are homes that yeah, read. Yeah, these are homes. Yes. Okay, that's uh, from here. Is that 14 million? 14 million. Yes. 14 million homes. So three people per household is an average. That would mean 42 plus million potential viewers. Is that right? Yes. Am I making a mistake? That's right. You, John, yeah. UNCA, you, you got yeah. your calculus going? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is. That's, that is so, so this is what's projected in the UK. Yvonne, you got that? Mm-hmm. Like Two, 43 million. 2017, close to 43 million people can now, watch. There are some it's other ways incredible. that uh, this uh, can be watched. Uh, let's see the, pro the next uh, graphic. Um, it shows uh, that it could be with the smart TVs, it could be on a computer, uh, even your cell phone. If you go Vision 247 on your cell phone or your tablets, you can watch it, uh, channel 244 and 3ABN uh, uh, will be there. Uh, you can uh, also go to o OTT, which is uh, uh, over the top. Uh, they, there is a company called EETV. They have a set-top box, and uh, that means that 75% uh, of uh, the population in UK can be uh, reached by watching this uh, channel 244. 75% of the entire of, of population. Of the homes, of the, higher, the, the entire population is what he's saying. Wow. Yeah. Around 20 million uh, homes, or 75% of the use preview, that's over 11 million. 42% of UK households are free, free view only. Wow. But, mean, then in, but then including all the other mediums. They don't got all the other. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. So it's a, I mean, this is, this is. It's a good time to use the word medium. Usually I, I step right, back a, better, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. That's <laughs> a better, we're using that in, in a good context. context. Of yeah. electronic <laughs> medium. Right. Yeah. And, but uh, this work is done by the Lord. You know, when, when Nehemiah heard how, how the walls had been broken down and they were in disrepair, uh, and he went to rebuild the walls. This is what the Lord sent us mm -hmm. to do in London. That is the gateway, Danny, and all of us, yeah. those you watch. That's the gateway to Europe. What happens, and I heard this on the news, uh, they said what happens in London affects the rest of Europe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of like what's flowing into London because they're the closest major city to the West. Because we're the West, it flows out of us right into the UK, and it starts proliferating itself throughout the rest of Europe. So this is an entrance into the rest of Europe. Now we know that other place. Then the, you have on the farther side of that Russia. So mm -hmm. on both ends, uh, 3ABN is on the far end, on this far end. And so in between now are the other areas. And so if it's going to be, not if, but because it has taken off mm -hmm. in London, and Scotland and Ireland and, and Wales and the UK. This is just the beginning of the work of the Lord. And to finish it off, this is what the Lord intends to do because Danny, here we're talking about the three angels' messages. Mm -hmm. It has to go into all the world. Yeah. Yeah. The gospel has to be preached to every nation before Jesus comes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a witness, not necessarily everybody's going to accept it, but they have to hear it for yeah. the gospel to be able to culminate. Then you see that uh, the message is going out. Yes. And the way that uh, the 
people are using today is uh, via internet. We are still doing satellite, sure. hmm. but uh, the satellite coverage is limited. And uh, we are some, somewhat managing the satellite uh, cost and uh, investing more in the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the MySDA TV box uh, that uh, is a great way of uh, reaching you know, people with all the Seven Day Adventist uh, channels. Yeah, and, and you can take it with you anywhere in the world, right? Yes, yeah. you can take it with you, and uh, there is video on demand. Uh, I was also uh, looking at the reports that uh, we, g we received from uh, a Akamai company. Is, uh, Akamai is the largest distributor of uh, internet across the, the, the globe. And uh, we have a chart that we can show uh, all the, the points of uh, right now, those uh, uh, green uh, shining yeah. lights are connections that are uh, being made right now. It's a live uh, representation of how people are connecting to the Internet. Hmm. And that, uh, that the green light, it changes. You see that uh, Australia yeah, is... <laughs> Australia is, is sleeping right now, so there's not a lot of uh, uh, okay. lights there. So this but is live right now. That is live, basically. yes. Right. Yeah. And uh, you see right. that uh, mm -hmm. the whole world is being connected. Each point of that represents the thousands and thousands of connections of uh, Internet. Mm -hmm. Just uh, to give you some idea, and that will be good for the viewers to know, uh, and on average weekend, the 3ABN channel, it has 25,000 concurrent users uh, every hour of uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that means that uh, we have uh, six, sometimes 15 million hits on our website. I can a million hits. Hits it means that uh, people that uh, goes to the website and check it out. Not all of them stays connected, but uh, 25,000 people connected watching at the same time, that's a lot of people. Oh, uh, that's right. And Ab absolutely. Another amazing thing that uh, I, I took out of the report is that, uh, of course, the number one country is USA. Mm -hmm. Number two country, I could not understand mm -hmm. why, but most of the months, the number two country is Mexico. Mexico. Mm, I don't okay. understand. Oh, oh good. Well, we got but, Latino going. And, <laughs> and then uh, we, you have the number th the three country is uh, Canada. And then the fourth, believe it or not, is UK. UK. Wow. UK yeah. is the fourth one continuously every month. Sometimes it jumps to the third place. Mm -hmm. But UK, there's a lot of internet connections watching 3ABN. I, I did not Very realize cool. that we get millions of hits on. You showed, I was telling uh, Moses, I went in a week or so ago, and I said, I said, there's some of these ministries, big ministries, they get 20 million hits. We don't get near that. I said, do we even get a million or so? And you showed me, you said, well, let me pick up, I think it was May 14th or 15th that week, and it was a figure like 80 million. So it was ridiculous. <laughs> uh, is that yes yeah, so we don't we don't broadcast we don't tell a yeah. lot of the, the the hits because they are numbers but, of people that just go on the on but, there but you're saying like 50 60 70 80 million people go on yes. and this was like in a week's time yes yeah. to 3 abn i mean i didn't know that wow. i'm going to get up and run now well, i know yeah. I, you I, know I, danny every every now and again there opens in the universe a door it swings wide on its hinges and light shines through. Mm -hmm. this, this is one of those times. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we perceive it and sometimes we don't. And I hope, I hope our, our viewers are understanding what's happening here. Mm -hmm. God is pleased now to open a door and shine light. Mm -hmm. Last year in, in Africa, they baptized 110,000 people. Yes. Wow. And, and that's a great blessing that's of the Lord. Absolutely. But, but that, I've, I've preached in Africa. I think, John, you've been there. You've been in Africa. Mm -hmm. You can expect that. We're talking about England, a post-Christian country that has some of the most beautiful churches in the world that are empty. Mm -hmm. Or that are bars and yeah. clubs. Yeah, yes. or, or they've turned, they've turned to, to, to dance halls even. Yes. Yeah. And, and God is saying, I'm, I'm, I'm working here in Africa and I'm working in Australia, but I'm also working in this post-Christian country. Mm -hmm. and, and somehow he dropped it in your spirit 
let's, let's go to England. So God is saying, yeah, you're on the right place. Ellen White says, when I got there, I knew this is where the Lord had me because he began to open doors. And the best evidence that God is with you is because he's tearing stuff down. Mm. Yeah. He's tearing down obstacles. Uh, uh, he, uh, we went and we, we had one idea and God said, no, we're going to do it this way. And if you stick with me, I'm going to do some marvelous things. This, this is a marvelous thing. And I hope that you're getting excited. We talk about evangelism. Since we, oh. since we made the pivot in the, in the direction of evangelism, God, is, God has blessed us. The devil has opposed us. We've, we've, we've seen that. The devil has opposed us greatly, but God is, is overriding. This is, this is, you talk, I'm about to be ready to get up and run. All right, good. Come on. Come on, do it. It's a marvelous thing. You better hold the CA and, and uh, <laughs> bone because I have more things to share with, with you okay. that what? Uh, I may get up and run. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's hear it. I want to hear some. Well, uh, I will leave some of it for John and Rosemary Malkovich. They are coming okay. next week for the okay. camp meeting, but uh, God is uh, opening uh, the doors, like the CA said, not only in the UK. This is uh, a uh, last event that uh, we are talking about in the UK. But uh, in other countries, uh, God is opening the doors and uh, is making the work to go faster. Uh, because, uh, for instance, we have been preaching, we have been using satellites in uh, Australia and uh, New Zealand. Mm -hmm. But recently, John called me and said, Moses, why don't we go to, you know, we were talking about uh, the free view in London. Yes. In uh, Australia, they have something like that, mm -hmm. but it's via, uh, via satellite. Yes. Uh, the government, because uh, Australia is so, uh, how can I say, uh, isolated from yes. the, you know, the rest of the world, yes. mm -hmm. and uh, there are major cities in the East in mm -hmm. Sydney and the major cities in the West uh, in the Perth, mm -hmm. but there's not a lot of population, so there's not a lot of TV stations. Right. So what the government said is, uh, we'll mandate that these satellites will serve these areas, these rural areas, oh, wow. by putting what the UK uses free view. In Australia, they have their own package mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. And uh, nobody had done that. Hmm. All right. And then uh, uh, John and, Ro and Rosemary called me and I said, what do you think? I said, I think that's an excellent idea. Yeah. Hmm. So they contacted the satellite company. They signed the contract. And uh -oh, we're going to go up in, right now. Uh, <laughs> take off right now. <laughs> in, uh, in, uh, in the last in a month here, uh, we already purchased the, the equipment and it is being installed. And in the last than a month, uh, we're going to blanket the whole country of Australia now, with on. this uh, oh. free to air, which is coming from satellite. There's going to be five empty chairs here. <laughs> <laughs> my, leg, my leg is moving. <laughs> Greg and Jill are going to have to come in here because there's going to be five okay. empty chairs. Okay. Okay. We're going to be running around oh, the building. <laughs> you can't on. keep it quilt. <laughs> Hold on. I have two more countries. Oh, oh my, be, my, my, my. Uh, this, uh, this is going to be a vacant <laughs> set. <laughs> are we going to be here when the, after the break? <laughs> And then I have been uh, waiting for Ghana to approve the digital yes. uh, conversion. Yes. We have a TV station license there, but it's analog. It's only to one city. It's right. a big city, yeah. but it's one city. But government said uh, there's not going to be any more analog. It's going to be one government channel for the whole country. The whole country. Oh, and wow. because it's digital, you can slice that channel in many different channels. Okay. And we're going to give one digital channel to every broadcaster that was an analog. Okay. Which means 3ABN. 3ABN. Gets one channel. Throughout the whole country? Throughout the whole country. Oh. Okay, I'm gone. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I'm gone. And I know... No transmitters to worry about, uh, no you know, transmitter. maintain, maintenance, oh. uh, no, no people. It's really? going to be digital God. all this over the much. country Come of on, Ghana. Just give God a hand. Okay. Right? Yeah. 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 
there is a cost, you know, there is a cost oh, for that. Oh, nothing for the Lord. Uh, yeah. And uh, we, we ask that the viewers please uh, think of uh, Ghana also. Yeah. There would be a cost to be on this digital uh, uh, channel, but it is a tremendous way to blank the whole country. Now, one amazing? last one, because we only have seven minutes can't left. can't take much more, but oh, go ahead. <laughs> <that's>, uh, <laughs> I just want to, the same thing is happening in Uganda. We oh. have an uh, analog uh, 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 channel uh. there. The, the uh, lightning strike the transmitter yes. and they burn the transmitter. We have been off the air. Mm -hmm. We haven't had, had funds to, yes. to send it to buy a new transmitter. Right. And the government said, no more analogs in Uganda. <laughs> Everything is going to be blank in the whole country in the, in the digital uh, channels and uh, we're going to give the analog broadcasters, we're going to give one free channel on this, Let's on the entire that. country. And it just goes on and on. It, and, uh, you know, it, it is going to be, I would say, in the next uh, uh, a few months, uh, it will be in the entire country of Uganda in the digital channel also. Yeah. Wow. And, and it, it, God is doing yeah. it quickly. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. happening and some yeah. things that we have been waiting for a yeah. long time and we have yeah. been working for a long time, yeah. but it is happening now and it's happening quickly. You know what, oh. I, I don't want to damper the spirit with all of this, but really I'm going to give you the sad part of it. The reason God is having to do all of this is because we're not. Mm. Mm -hmm. hmm. See, he said, go ye into all the world. Mm -hmm. But our people are so asleep that it's hard to get them for anything. That's true. We've offered books. Say, we'll give you free books to give out. And I'm surprised, amazed at how few people even will take books if you gave them to them to, to spread in the gospel because they don't want to have to go out on Sabbath afternoon and pass them out to people on the streets. Hmm. The, the money, the finances for 3ABN haven't gone up really in probably 10 years. We're still with all the expenses going up, it's just maintaining. And I'm amazed that people get caught up in this and that and the other and not looking at what's really happening, that Jesus is coming soon. That's right. And he's, he's given us each the opportunity to do something, but yet so few of us are doing it. Yeah. You know, the, 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 the fields are white under harvest, mm -hmm. but the reapers, where are they? Mm -hmm. And so this is a call. This is a call to each and every one of you. What am I doing for the cause of Christ? That's right. I mean, I am, I'm excited. I can get up and run. I, I can get excited about things. When I play basketball, I'm happy. I'm excited. John, you all know that. You are too. But the fact is, what are we doing for Christ? But it's, it's, it's God is opening up all this stuff in spite of us because he says, I'm coming back ready or not. That's right. But we have the responsibility as Christians, and many of us Seventh-day Adventist Christians, to do our part, lest we're going to be wanting. We can't come and say, you can't say, well, God, Moses, you know, Moses, he, hmm. he got us on uh, London. Moses did, the Lord's going to say, what have you done? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? And we're asking each of you to think about it and pray about it. And no figures, it's not a fundraiser, but you say, Lord, what would you have me to do? Mm -hmm. Three A, B, and you just seen what we bit off, if I can use that expression. Sometimes my folks used to say you bit off more than you can chew. So we, we have bit off a big chunk. Yes. And we believe Jesus said, without a doubt, go ye into all the world. Oh, yes. All power is given me in heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. Go ye therefore. That's what we're doing. And I want to thank all of you who are giving and who are supporting. Mm. And without you, we wouldn't be here. That's right. So many of you watching this program, you're right there. Many of you have been watching for years. You don't support uh, financially. Hopefully you're praying for us. Some of you, if you can't, the Lord knows that. But you can call your neighbors. You can call your friends. You can tell them about Jesus. If you're not good at speaking, you can tell them how to get 3ABN and, and watch or listen. Uh, you can do something for the cause of God. Right. You were created for such an hour as this. Mm -hmm. And so I can't let this go by and while I'm, this is, uh, I would say in 32 years, this program, we've never had more things that showing that God is in control, mm. that he's serious about coming back than this program right here. Mm. We've done thousands, mm -hmm. thousands, but we've never had to report on any of them we've had on this one. 
Mm. Mm. Look at the United Kingdom, all of that. Uganda. Ghana. 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 Australia. Australia. Right. Where literally the governments, not us as yeah. Adventists, the governments wow. are changing the laws, laws yeah. and allowing the gospel and saying, you had that, you get to go to everybody now. Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean, this is yeah. God doing that in spite of us. Amen. That's so right. while that's great, we need to be on board because when Jesus comes, we're accountable. Yeah. Right. But we're so sidetracked with this or that. Or with me, if I can use this term, I get so tired of people saying, well, I was going to give, but I heard such and such to happen. Well, I heard that everything's not. And well, somebody told me, so I don't support anymore. And what we That's need to do is look, work, look at the devil's work. I have to break in work. and say that. That's the devil's work. That's the devil's work. You know, for people, for, for Christians that believe that Jesus is coming soon, how could we not how could we not expect the enemy to throw dirt into the fan? Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what happens. He mm -hmm. does that, and people get so sidetracked because their minds are not on the gospel. If your mind is on the gospel, you'll be a soldier for the hour that is facing us. And you'll say, as the picture that impressed me so much is the globe spinning. I was excited about that in, in Revelation 18. The earth is illuminated with his glory. Yeah. And here we are sitting down. We're covered with the, uh -huh. with, the, with the foolishness that Satan has thrown our way. We've got to be, we have to endure hardship as good soldiers. When the Lord comes back, as Danny says, we're not going to heaven because somebody else did the work. Every man will be rewarded according to his work. Mm -hmm. So the question is, what are you doing for the kingdom of God? Nobody's going to go to the kingdom that's sitting idly by. Mm -hmm. And the reason why many people are losing their heart is because Satan finds work for idle hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they were busy on the gospel field, as one person says, and I know this is a saying everybody heard, I'm so busy working for Jesus, I don't have time to die. Yeah. But if you're not working, you're saying, when will the Lord hurry up and get here? Mm. Well, you have the power to hasten the coming of the Lord by getting involved in your prayers and also your financial support. And I think mm. the last thing I say is the greatest, the greatest conviction that is going to hit the hearts of people is when the Lord comes back. And I'm not saying this to stimulate finances, is to have money in the bank that will now become a witness against them that they have not mm -hmm. used for the, for the spread of the gospel. James says that. Yeah, I mean. Your gold and silver is cankered up against you as a witness. As a witness. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing for the cause of God? We're coming on to the end of the hour, but I think we need to, to pick this up again on the other yeah. side. I've got a quote from Ellen White that I think is very pertinent to this. This is an exciting time. We need to bathe oh, this in yeah, prayer. Yeah, yeah, There's so much yeah. we need to do. This is a powerful time, a powerful move of God. God is showing us again how strong he is mm -hmm. and how strong we can be when we line up behind yeah. him. Yeah, sure. We want to encourage you to, um, if, if, to call your friends, uh, your enemies, everybody, we always <laughs> say. But this program really should be spread everywhere. So if you call 3ABN, we'll make sure you get a DVD of it because we want the world to know what has happened. Jesus is alive and he's on the throne. That's mm -hmm. right. He's coming back very soon. Yes, he We're going to take a short break, but we got more exciting news, believe it or not. Woo! Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> A, Mercy, we had to stand up and praise the Lord a little bit while we were off. Some, <laughs> some folk get offended if you <laughs> praise the Lord a little bit, but I couldn't sit down anymore. I mean, neither could they. We all said, let's just stand up. But Moses, we had to keep him. He was about ready to run around <laughs> circles here. He wanted to leave. But, uh, he said, no, you started yeah. the fire. You're staying. Well, <laughs> if you're just joining us, you're going to say, what in the world happened? Well, you have to watch oh. again on the replay or order your DVD of this program. But some amazing, amazing things uh, are happening. We just reported that 75% of the households throughout the UK, if I'm right, That's you right. can correct me when I'm wrong, will, are getting 3ABN and Mrs. Dare to Dream. Dare to Dream. 24-7. Yeah. Right. We just reported we're going to be going and virtually blanketing Australia mm -hmm. through some change in government regulations. Uganda, Uganda. and Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. Uh, the same thing. That instead of the satellites or one station with transmitters, the government is letting this to go to the to digital and dividing. So it's would it be kind of like uh, say Sirius Radio? You can go across the country. In other words, it's one channel. Yeah, is it is. And, and it's similar, so the mm. whole country can get it. Mm. And even like know. in the UK, 
you, you, with this channel in, here in America, we have a channel here, 15, it just covers this area. Then we have other channels, you know, 100 and some stations. But this would, everybody gets it no matter where you live. So, but, and, you know, then it, this also, it's a good uh, lesson for us Americans. <clears throat> We think that uh, we are so advanced, mm -hmm. but look at a country like uh, Ghana, not to put them down, yeah. or Uganda, but uh, <clears throat> they caught the vision, and they made a system that uh, it literally can uh, distribute the channels all over the country. And here in the United States, FCC is uh, fighting uh, the ATSC 3.0, which is going to be a small <clears throat> comparison to the technology that countries like Uganda and Ghana uh, are doing. Uh, so there are other countries that uh, are doing more because they're saying, we, we can do this and let's do it. And uh, here we are just fighting to see how we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. So we are behind. And uh, one example for us, one, uh, one lesson for us is as we, and I, I come back to this because that's my, my, my position. I don't know anything. I just put my availability to God's hands and say, God, you do it, and uh, He does. Mm -hmm. And right. as we do that, uh, He will open uh, the world for us. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, you know, these countries, I take my hat to them. Uh, they yeah, are doing absolutely. in a tremendous way a technology. A ab absolutely. And, and to think about what we've just talked about today could be in the hundreds of millions of new viewers. These are where people actually just turn on the television set right. and millions and millions of these could have gotten us on the internet or they can get us certain if the MySDA or Roku, you can get us, but not just turning on your television set to blanket entire countries like we're seeing now. And you think this is accident? That's that right. it's happening right now, all of these countries. No. Come on, Danny. Tell me about Come it. Come on. God is coming. You know that God this is, is coming. not an accident. Right. You know Talk that God is setting this all up. This is a setup. <laughs> this is yeah. a setup, like you said before, yeah. because God is working all of this through. We, we're developing programming here that, <clears throat> that really focuses a lot on prophecy. I noticed mm -hmm. that we've, we've done like a shift into more prophecy programs. We have Pastor C.A.'s program coming, um, Daniel All Access. We have the, the book on the three angels' messages. We yes. have your book, uh, Spiritual mm -hmm. Vigilantes. We, we, we're developing uh, another program on Dare to Dream for um, prophecy, Daniel and Revelation from Ryan Johnson. He's mm -hmm. done that. He's submitting it as a platform uh, for use of our, on our platform and all of these programs will be available to people who are just turning on their television sets yeah. how many times do we hear that people have turned on their sets and they have found jesus christ over and over through just accidentally turning come on. on come on I'm, I'm getting ready to jump up again I'm going, just accidentally turning their channel and finding 3abn and hearing the gospel this is what we're. This is what we're doing, and we can't do it without you. Mm, we need you. you. We need, as we develop these programs, we need your support. We cannot do it without you. This is a family thing. This mm -hmm. is a partnership, and we cannot do it without your help. Mm. But with that being said, look at what God is doing mm -hmm. through all of us. This yeah. is. It is such a privilege. Yeah. It's such a privilege. It is. It, it is. And you know where where where, where people. Of the, of the gospel and of the household of faith, when they refuse to respond, you know, that the Lord is not put off by our lackadaisical attitude toward the gospel. He says, if I have to get the rocks to cry out, mm. and Daniel, you, and Daniel, Danny, you did a, a wonderful analogy about how in the satellites and in, mm -hmm. in, the, in the transmissions of the gospel, God is using means that are already in place. Uganda, these places that seem to be remote, God is saying, if you can't get your act together, I'm going to open up the doors. Mm -hmm. Paul says he's going to finish the work and cut it short in righteousness. And so this is the hour. I mean, how much longer hmm. do we want this world to go That's on right. the way it is? That's and right. everything is in place. The instability in the economy, uh, the, 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 the movements between Rome and the United States. These things are happening at such rapid pace, and so that's why it's so timely to get these messages out through prophecy. Yeah. That's why it's important for 3ABN to maintain 
uh, an <clears throat> uncompromising position yes. scripturally. Mm. Because this is the message. It's not just about getting the gospel out, and, and I want to just make it even clearer. It's not just about being a Christian in general, because you know it's almost fashionable now to be a Christian. Mm. 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 But it's not fashionable to tell the truth. Oh, and 3ABN yeah. is no longer just, 3ABN is not in the line of pick a channel. 3ABN is saying, hey, if you want to hear the undiluted three yes. angels' messages, this is the channel. So why would not the devil uh, be upset about it? Mm -hmm. You know, in the, in the story of Nehemiah and the wall being in disrepair, God moved in a way that the people didn't think he could. And the Bible says in Nehemiah 6.15, and it happened when all their enemies heard it and all the nations around them saw these things, they perceived the work was done by God. 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 So, so the enemies are, Satan is, is, is on notice, but here's the good news, and I give it back to you. The gates of hell cannot prevail against That's them. It. The That's gospel, it. All right. it's not the gates of hell pushing against the gospel, but past the CA knows, it's the gospel yeah. pushing against, against the, the gates, gates of hell, hell. Yeah. and the gates of hell can't stop yeah. its oh, advance. Okay. So love the gates it. of okay. hell cannot prevail against the gospel. The gospel's gone forward, there you go. and the gates of hell are too weak to stop it. Yes. And that's the praise of God. You know, I heard a song years ago on, on one of those old Gaither uh, videos, the devil's in the phone booth dialing 911. <laughs> 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 I love it. <laughs> that the Christians have loaded up their spiritual guns, but the devil's in the phone booth dialing 911. And, and that's, that's Which pretty... Which you got him on the run. You got I'm him sure. on the run. <laughs> that is where we, that's that's where we find ourselves right Praise now. Praise God. Think of, think of this program. This, this is a watershed program. Hmm. Um, the thing, I, I, I'm just revamping our proclaimed lineup. I was looking at, at uh, my lineup just the other day uh, with Luis Capote. I think we've got half a dozen shows that have prophecy in the title, yes. because mm. people want to know where am I going, where am I coming from, That's what's right. coming next. There's so much uncertainty, and in this midst of uncertainty, God is moving silently, and He's He's doing things. We've got a lot of Ghanaian, Ghanaian churches in the states and in 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 London. That's right. And this is a time for our Ghanaian people to step forward because you're supporting now work in your homeland in Africa. That's right. Things are, things are happening. There are a lot of. In fact, one of our meetings we had was at the Ghanaian church. They're in London, you recall. Yeah. So uh, this is a time for, for our brothers and sisters of Ghanaian heritage to, 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 to come forward and step up and help that uh, uh, work that is being done there. But God is doing some marvelous things. I want to just read this short quote from the book Evangelism. Ellen West says, I appeal, let me put my glasses on so I can see. <laughs> I appeal to our brethren who have heard the message for many years. It is time to wake up the watchman. Hmm. Hmm. I've expended my strength in giving the messages the Lord has given me. The burden for the needs of our cities has rested so heavily upon me that at, it has at some time seemed that I should die. May God give wisdom to our brethren as they know how to carry forth the work in harmony with the will of the Lord. Mm -hmm. that's, that's her plea. Um, you know, I've never, I've never had a burden that I would feel I would die. Mm -hmm. But I do have a burden for the cities. Mm -hmm. And out of our burden, we have to extend our energies. And I think you said something very, very powerful. How sad it would be to die and leave a truckload full of money that could have been used in the Lord's mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is time to step forward. And we see now where the money's going. You got Uganda. And the church is doing great things. I preached mm -hmm. in Uganda a few years ago. You recall Moses. You had me go over. Great work, great people. Ghana, great work, great people. London, the, the, the door, the St. Louis of, yeah. of the continent of Europe, That's right. the gateway. Mm -hmm. And God is saying, I'm going to plant my flag in the gateway country, yeah, in the on. gateway city, right. not mm -hmm. off someplace in okay. Antarctica, right? Yeah. As you're going in, that's where the flag of God is going. Right. And everybody can see it. It's, it's, I say it again, Psalms 118, 23. This is the Lord's doing. Yeah. And it is, is, is mm. marvelous in our eyes. Yes. If you could hear the angels. Go ahead, Mo, you had your hand. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I, I just want to echo that a little bit because uh, I am a privileged person that I have access to some data that you guys don't have it. Mm -hmm. And I try to share and I sometimes don't do a good job <laughs> uh, of sharing this data, but uh, it's a good opportunity now that I can share and uh, actually praise God for that. Hmm. Um, one of the things that uh, really um, call my attention is that today the churches uh, are doing 
seminars and that they are spending a lot of time in uh, health, nothing that is wrong about health, but that they are doing things about uh, how to be social and this and that. But I can tell you, not I can tell you, I can prove it to you by numbers, and I don't make them numbers. They say uh, liars make numbers, but the numbers <laughs> cannot lie. Yeah. I can prove it to you by numbers that the people today, they want to hear the gospel. How can I prove it? Uh, out of, uh, let's say, the 25,000 uh, viewers that I told you on mm -hmm. the internet, and these are people that every time that they log in and they start to watch it, mm -hmm. our clock counts. Mm -hmm. because we have to pay for it, yeah. by the way. <laughs> Each yeah. second that uh, anybody that oh, out of those 25,000 people uh, log in, we have to pay for it mm -hmm. every second. So that clock counts. And uh, out of those 25,000, uh, I can tell that the, the most watched channel is uh, 3ABN. And then what is the second, what do you think is the most the second uh, greatest uh, uh, channel watched. I, Proclaim. I saw oh, you well, looking over at CA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is proclaimed. Mm -hmm. And that's not, all preaching. It's all preaching. Not because uh, people are not interested in their seated problems. Uh, it's just, I believe, that because people want to hear the gospel. Mm -hmm. That's right. There's and gross so, darkness covering the earth mm -hmm. and people wanting to find light. That's right. So I can see 3ABN and then I can see Proclaim right there, right next to, and sometimes Proclaim even get matches at 3ABN. So people want to hear the gospel today. Mm -hmm. They are starving for truth. Mm -hmm. And another interesting thing is I have I work in the secular television stations, mm -hmm. and uh, in secular television stations 35, 37 years ago when I was working for them, they actually turn off the transmitters at midnight to save power mm -hmm. because uh, they say, well, right. sure. we are not selling commercials uh, from midnight to 6 a.m. So uh, television stations in Boston that I work for, we were off the air at midnight. Mm. But I can prove it to you by numbers that our audience does not decline at midnight. Mm -hmm. mm. Actually, our audience stays on all the way to 4 a.m. Mm. Mm. I don't know how yeah. or why, but there are a lot of midnighters mm. that are mm. seeking the sure. gospel. Those are the people who, who don't have peace and they don't know the mm. Lord. And they're, they're, they're Looking for Searching, something. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got a call once from a lady in, in London, actually, uh, who got up. And if you look at the time frame, what's the difference? Like seven, eight hours? Or so? Six hours. Oh, yeah, six, six hours. hours. Mm -hmm. And um, she called me during the day and she said, uh, I woke up this morning to do house cleaning and uh, ran into a program. It was the unclean spirit. She said, my house cleaning had to wait for six hours. <laughs> I watched all five hours. <laughs> and, and this is what you're talking about. And then not even, not an Adventist, she was a Pentecostal. She said, how can we get you guys to come over here? Mm -hmm. And so this is what we we're talking about. There are people that are wanting to hear the undiluted message. That's right. yeah. And so that's what 3ABN is fulfilling. Yeah. They, they have it out there to get this gospel out and praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned something that I'm interested in you repeating. You said right now, Dare to Dream and the main parent channel is on, but other channels are going to be added. Yes, that. Uh, right well, away. We are just, uh, we have prepared already f uh, files some forms and stuff. And I would say about two weeks, uh, mm -hmm. we should have uh, Latino, kids, French, and Russian. Yeah. There will be six, six channels uh, uh, mm -hmm. and some others that we're working on, like uh, the music channel, we don't yes. have yet, the mm -hmm. Praise Him. But as soon mm -hmm. as the Praise Him is on the air, we are going to add that uh, Praise Him as yeah. well. Absolutely. But you mentioned a statistic a moment ago that I didn't hear you re reiterate how people want to hear preaching also. Yes. Right, but uh, it doesn't mean that the other channels are not being watched. Oh, there yeah. Are, there are a lot of uh, people that sure. it, it fluctuates. Okay, I got you. I, I, I see the graphics, but what I was misled or misconceived was that I thought people didn't want to be uh, watching a preaching Pre yeah. all 24 sure. 7. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, they are. Well, we've gone too far because years and years ago, 
uh, way back, I don't know, start the 50s or 60s. Of course, we've always known the health message as, as a right arm to the gospel, but people, for some reason, in the 60s and 70s, our church began to lean away from just giving the straight, and they would do go around this way and this way and say, mm -hmm. well, let's just rent a hotel rather than invite people to the church, and we'll bring people in, and we'll hold these Sneak meetings because, mm -hmm. yeah, this <laughs> is a way, Backdoor. you know, and somebody comes and say, wow, this is great. Who are you? Oh, uh, well, <clears throat> come back. Uh, we'll <laughs> tell you, you know, and so people don't know who we are because they didn't tell them. So, you know, the, the, my dad used to say the quickest way to get from A to Z is make straight a straight up. line. Yes, don't be mm -hmm. going around here. And what I found out about people as a human mind, no matter, sometimes we get too smart. Hmm. As a church and as people, we get too smart we, for our own britches. If I can use that down home term, is, is we get too, my dad used to, son, you're getting too smart for your own britches. That mean I was in trouble. <laughs> but we do that because we think we can outthink people. So if we want them to get something, we say, well, if we can get them over here, then we'll eventually get them back. And that's not the way it works. Oh. I have found out you can't lure anybody into accepting Jesus Christ other than giving them the truth. And we sometimes can waste a lot of time going over here. Well, psychology says this, or if we use this on them, well, marketing studies say we should do this or that. Well, marketing studies aren't necessarily led by the Holy Spirit, oh. <laughs> right? When you, we, you get generic companies or secular companies to tell you how to market to church, something is wrong. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sorry, I'm gonna put it out here for not just ours, I'm talking about any church, mm -hmm. or any group of people. Mm -hmm. We need to do what the Bible says and what the Holy Spirit says. So when we give them the straight, undiluted truth, you can't run people off either because we're not going to run them off. People have said to me, well, what if you, you know, you, you shouldn't, the only, when we first started television, people in our church said, well, don't put on 24-7 Christian programming because uh, uh, people don't want to hear this. You'll uh -huh. scare people off. I said, why not? Well, what if you had a revelation seminar and someone didn't watch till the night of the mark of the beast. That'll run people off. But what I found out, that doesn't run people. If you're looking for truth, you're going to find truth. And I could give you instance after instance after instance of people who said, thank you for knocking my boat out of the water. Or I was so upset when I heard the program the first night. Mm -hmm. I was so upset, but I came back. So if people are looking for truth, you're not going to run them off. Amen. Don't be afraid to tell people about Jesus Christ and That's Him crucified. Right. We right. don't have to do go around from here to there. And right now, God is opening up doors. But my concern is, again, is people that, for instance, in our church that are asleep. I we're so sidetracked. That was just what I was going to talk about. Tell us about it. I was just <laughs> going to say... We need to wake up. If this information that you heard today doesn't stir mm. your soul, yeah. then you're sleeping. That's mm. the point. And we need to wake up. What Pastor C.A. Yeah. read, wake up. Now it is high time to awake mm -hmm. because mm. now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. So mm. if we don't wake up and get involved in this yeah. whole effort, we're, we're just, we're sleeping. Yeah. We have to, if you don't have a burden for souls, ask God to put it there because mm -hmm. he can put it there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can get so caught up in, in life that you kind of lose, you get distracted because mm -hmm. that's what the enemy does. He likes yeah. to distract us. And mm -hmm. if we, if we need to be put back on track, ask God, that's, that's what he wants to do. He longs to do that. Ask him because we need to wake up. And I think, uh, Ivan, just to go along with that, sometimes we think, well, I, I, there is nothing that I can do. I don't know right. how to preach, which I don't. I don't know how to preach, but God has used me to do other things. And to uh, answer your uh, question, 3ABN is an example of uh, uh, ability to penetrate in many different areas. Yes. So we have the Dare to Dream that has a audience or a group of people. We have, uh, you know, I haven't even mentioned the radio. Radio is, you know, people yes. think, oh, you know, radio is something of the past. Nobody is actually put in listening radio. It's not true at all. That's right. There are thousands and thousands of people, and I can actually show you graphics that shows the amount of people that are listening radio. Mm -hmm. It right. is something that is desired today. There is a 
group of people for every way. So we are not going completely off satellite. Mm -hmm. We are diminishing the satellite audience right. because we see that there are other areas that could use those yeah. funds yes. in, in a faster yeah. way. Yes. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that the satellite is not covering any, sure. any area. No. So there are many different ways of uh, preaching the gospel and that's what 3ABN is doing, radio, there to dream, Latino, French, uh, you know, we have a ways of uh, reaching even other languages. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So it, it is just us putting ourselves again in God's hands and let God do the work. Amen. But the devil's going to fight the hardest against people who have present truth because he does not want the present truth out because that's, what's, that, that's his demise. Mm -hmm. When people understand the truth, We'll talk about a camp meeting in a few minutes, counteract the counterfeit. But th that's who the devil's most upset about. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit. I was talking about our own people, uh, John, the vision of our own people, because we're so sidetracked by the world, and we want to blend in so much. Like when we did the Ten Commandments book, uh, it's been, what, 11 years or so ago, literally people gave them out by the millions, and we had funding to do it. And, and, I mean, hundreds of churches, if not thousands, would get several thousand books and pass these out, go on the streets. Washington, D.C., there were so many people passing out Ten Commandments twice removed books in Washington, D.C., that the Washington Post wrote an article about it, mm -hmm. and they said that everyone came into the office that the Washington Post was asking the other, did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> and the other say, did I get what? You didn't get it? We got it. The whole Washington Post, they wrote an article themselves and said, everybody was asking each other, did you get your book, The Ten Commandments, twice removed? Look at that. Because nice. people were in Washington, D.C. Nice. We held the Ten Commandments weekend out there, and people came out by the thousands and was blanketing Washington, D.C. Right now we have the book, The Spiritual Vigilantes, and though people are calling in, I'm amazed that if you say, we'll give you these books to pass out that percentage-wise so fewer people want to do it because we have funding that will fund a few hundred thousand books so far. That they, Now, a lot of people are. They're passing them out, and we've got Trinidad and Tobago passing out, I mean, mm -hmm. tremendous yeah. amounts of them, but yeah. other people passing out 1,000, 2,000. But what worries me is people are concerned about content. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's just about the Sabbath, we'll pass it out. But on this one, you talk about same-sex marriage, you talk about abortion, and the, we don't really want to get into that. I mean, maybe I we shouldn't. The apple cart. Maybe we shouldn't yeah. present this. Let me tell you guys. You, you, I don't think you know this, but this week, I had someone call me and said, "We have we have a church that we're talking to people. They're they're non -ad, a non Adventist church wants to pass out and wants to know will we give them the book Spiritual Vigilantes." because they believe that they want to get this content out to everybody in their community. Mm -hmm. So the person talking to them said, now you know this is an Adventist book. And they said, and one of the men said, well, he had gone to a Revelation seminar. So he said, by Adventist. So he said, you know, and re to one of my brothers, Ronnie. And he said, I know what you all believe already. So he said, well, here, let's, we're going to give you the books. Let your pastor read it. You know, let your elders make sure we don't want you passing these books out. And they said, no, we, 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 they see it. It's like, mm. you know, they see the need yeah. for passing this book. So we're going to have folks. So any church, those of you, whatever church you're in, when you see a need mm. for truth, God gave his Ten Commandments. That's all of them. Uh, 15, 16 years ago, I wrote a book called The Forgotten Commandment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of you may know. There's a couple million of them out. Pacific Press did it. John, today, if I wrote that book, I would have to call it The Forgotten Commandments with an S at the end of it. Mm -hmm. Because more more being... things have changed so much. That's right. Because I remember 15 years ago, we would basically, no matter who you talk to, Christians, Mo, you would say, well, what's the only commandment people have forgotten? Sabbath. 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 But today, that's not true. Because when America made same-sex law of the land, that's a commandment forgotten. We said to God, we don't believe you. We don't trust you. We don't take your word seriously. We want to govern ourselves. We're putting ourselves above you by going against your word. 
thought of, commonly think of ourselves as Christian nation, though we know we're not, and the book explains all of this, but our founding fathers adopted the last six commandments as how to live in a happy and peaceful, you know, society. You need them. But today, we have people that say, well, we shouldn't be, let's don't harp on these other things. If you got the book on the Ten Commandments, we'll put that out, but this is a subject that we're all affected by, and we don't think you should be talking about same-sex marriage or abortion. But I think we should be. If, so whatever, uh, whatever commandment that we know is being broken, I think we have a responsibility. Mm -hmm. So if, if for some reason the, the United States said it's okay to pass the law to say stealing is okay, then we would be standing up saying, you know, this is against the law of God. So it's not like, well, we don't like homosexuals. I, I have family, I have friends, people that, that are, mm -hmm. are homosexuals, and I love these folk, and hopefully they love me. And I have relationships with them, the right kind of relationships with them that we have, that we love each other. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's not that you're harping against people or you think right. you're better, but adultery is as bad as, as, as homosexuality. You know, it is as bad as stealing, is as bad as alcohol, is as bad as drugs. Sin is sin. Mm -hmm. But as a people, no one is saying, well, we have all the answers. We're perfect. We're not, this mm -hmm. doesn't apply to us. These books apply to us. Mm -hmm. God's law applies to every one of us. We're all sinners saved by grace, mm -hmm. but it's still our job that we're to cry aloud and spare not. Mm -hmm. So our responsibility and our privilege. So my concern is that people in our church are so asleep that right now we don't even see what's happening around us yes. when so many people are starting in our, so, so many of our universities, they have same-sex clubs. They have homosexual, gay and lesbian clubs, and people are not standing up against that. Churches that are having these, you know, saying, well, it's okay, they can, should be able to pastor, they should be, and I name in the book, Numerous churches, Christian churches, mm. have sanctioned pastors yes. and same-sex yeah. marriage. Openly gay clergy. O openly gay. And, and so it's moving. It's something that's happening. It's against God's law. But when we write about it, people don't want to hear about it. You know, Danny, the problem is we're not teaching deliverance from sin any longer. Man. The churches are teaching tolerance of sin. Okay. I mentioned yes. this before. Yes. Say that again. Yes. The, the churches Good. are not preaching deliverance from sin, but tolerance of sin. Mm -mm -mm. And so when the Bible says uh, that uh, Babylon has fallen, it's amazing how Babylon literally, Babylon fell, the literal Babylon fell, but now it's mm. fallen again because the churches now have taken on the same attitude of Babylon. Mm. They've adopted the ways of Babylon. So the Lord is saying, spiritually now the church is in a fallen condition. So what is our message? To come out of her, my people. And when, when you say come out, we're saying no longer do we need to be affected by a standard that's lowered, but the standard needs to be lifted back up. Mm. I mean, the commandments of God are not to be trifled with in any particular. But the right. churches today, we saw that when it came to the Sabbath. Now, I made the statement, if the Sabbath were attacked today, if Christians were keeping the Sabbath up till last year, Okay. Mm -hmm. Then all the Christian churches would be protesting in Washington. You just change our day of worship. Right. But it happened, you know, more than a thousand years ago. So now today it seems like a normal thing. Well, if the world were to last long mm -hmm. enough, same-sex marriage will seem like a, a normal thing. And the very thing that the Lord established to be a sign between Him and His people is a Sabbath in the family. And both of these signs have been attacked. And unfortunately, this is how you sow the wind, and then you reap the whirlwind. The same churches that ignore the Sabbath, they sow the wind. Hmm. They're accepting hmm. same-sex marriage. They mm -hmm. reap the whirlwind. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So the churches have now become habitation of, of foul spirits, unclean and hated bird, like the Bible said about Babylon. Mm -hmm. So the churches that, that, first of all, they rejected the Sabbath. You mentioned the commandment. Now they reject the marriage institution. Mm -hmm. And so the, 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 the apostasy is complete. That's why, Pastor, uh, and I'm going to say Pastor Moses, <laughs> you're preaching yeah, anyway. That's right. I, don't want, that's right. I don't want you to think you're not. You're preaching through electronic means whereby you can cover a greater congregation yeah. than we can. You're giving us a platform. Praise God for that. But that's all the more reason why the message has to go out. Mm -hmm. That's all the more reason why this is the hour, yeah. because this is the gospel that has been ignored. Mm -hmm. When the world becomes accustomed to darkness, the Lord says in Isaiah 60, 
the glory of the Lord will be risen upon you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and will Amen. be seen upon you. Mm -hmm. So we can't turn the light down because everybody else wants it dark. We've got to increase the light mm -hmm. and let the glory yeah. of God go forward. The only the thing that might be more deceptive mm -hmm. than that is people who keep the Sabbath, believe in it, mm -hmm. and accept same-sex marriage. Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And abortion. Or won't give the that gospel may be more deceptive. sound. Mm -hmm. You know, won't Christ give trumpet. said, Matthew chapter 10, 35, I've come to set a father against his son mm. and a mother. This is not cotillion time. This is not tea and cookie time. This is time to put on your war garments. This is time to get okay. ready for battle. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, and I think John's point is so important. The, the number one medication prescribed in the United States is Lipitor. That's a medication for cholesterol. And the reason it is so popular is because doctors have given up on the idea that people will change their diet. So just leave okay. them alone and mm -hmm. give them something, give mm -hmm. them a pill so that they can stay in their bad diet and, and, and not have to pay the consequences. Mm. Well, it, the church is falling in that same, same kind of pattern. Just leave them alone. They're not going to change. So let's not rock the boat. Let's just preach love and press on. Give them Lipitor. Yeah, give them, <laughs> give them spiritual <laughs> Lipitor. Yeah. But, but the, the truth is, it's, it's time to take the hard pill now. It's mm -hmm. time to take the, the hard pill. Uh, Christ says, I've, I've come to divide. I didn't come to just, let's all hold hands and sing kumbaya. I've come to draw a line here. Mm -hmm. Father against son, mother against daughter. Someone's got to stand up for Jesus. You're going to be unpopular? Sure you are. You're, you're going to be mm -hmm. standing alone sometimes? Sure you will. But the, the work has to be done. And, and we, we talked about this among ourselves. How sad it would be to live next door to somebody and say, you know, I didn't want, I didn't want to disturb your house is burning down, but it Absolutely. was late at night. And, and you said this, Danny, yeah. it was late at night, but you know, you sleep so sound. I know you sleep sound, so I let you burn, you know? Yeah. Uh, I so pick John up, I might offend him. I said, yeah, I don't, want, I don't want to offend him. So, so out of fear of offending somebody, I'm going to let you burn in hell mm -hmm. because I don't want to tell you the truth. Christ said, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Set father against son. Set mother against daughter. You got to tell the truth. Tell it in love, mm -hmm. but you've got to tell the truth. So the book does this. And obviously, we are in the will of God because God is tearing down strongholds right. and yeah. opening up doors. Yeah. And if, you, yeah. if, if, if he didn't want the message to go, he would have had London be impossible. The UK yeah. would have been That's impossible. Right. We'd right. have never gotten Uganda. But the fact yeah. that God is opening up the doors yes. says that we're in the will of God. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. In Absolutely. other words, if you want to tell it, I'll open the door. Precisely. Right. Thank yeah. If you want yeah. to say it, yeah. I'll, open the, I'll no. make the way. And as long as Thank you keep you. it straight and pure, so you got us kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. as long as you keep it straight and pure, yeah. I'll open the doors. But if you ever compromise, just as easy as those doors That's open, right. They're, click, they're close. those doors can close. And you, know, you wonder why it doesn't get in more places because if more people will be willing to say, we're going to do it, mm -hmm. God will say, because yeah. the question was, who shall we send and who right. will go who for will us? Go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And we're saying, here we are, Lord, send us. He said, yeah. I got you. Yeah. I'm going to dispatch your message. It's really a shame that God is having to use the airwaves instead of one-on-one -on -one people like ourselves, mm -hmm. but he will use whatever use it, it takes to get the gospel. We yeah. just need to be a part of it. Now, before we leave, we've got some really good news, some more good news, <laughs> believe it or not. Before we leave this, we do have the book. It's called Spiritual Vigilante, and uh, it's a book that's going to cover a lot of things. It, it's the spiritual vigilante simply is there's physical vigilantes, people who put themselves above the law of the land and take the law into their own hands, become judge, jury, and executioner. And there's also spiritual vigilantes, people and groups who say, you know what, we don't have to keep this commandment of God and they attempt to change what man cannot change. And so this book eventually will take you, it takes you through a history of this in the United States of America to where we are and what we believe, biblically speaking, prophetically speaking, is going to happen here in the closing moments of earth's history. It's a book that we believe is written in love, yet it does touch on some, some uh, topics that are hot topics. But I don't know how else, uh, I, I can't possibly not do it. That's right. So we do talk about laws that our government and that people within the church are beginning, God's laws, are beginning to accept as truth when it's there. So we're, we're, we're naming that out. We love everybody and hope the book is written in love. And because we know it's the love that will draw Jesus' love. And so if you want those in your church and you're willing to pass them out, you can contact us. Call us here at 3ABN, 618-627-4651. You can email us at uh, Mailroom, I think it is. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go to our website, just 3ABN, and we'll give you up to 500, possibly 1,000 
there's some people we know and they've done it, it's mailroom at 3abn.org, but there are some people uh, that who have done this before and so they've given out thousands, so when you call, we say yes. So we have people who have donated money that's paid for these books. So Moses, the books are free. Wow. <clears throat> but we want you to organize groups to go out Sabbath afternoon, Sunday, whenever you can, Fridays, pass out these books free of charge to give them to people. And if you do so, all you pay is just the shipping. Mm. A hundred of these only cost $18.50. Mm. So you would have these entire books for 18 cents a piece, 18 and a half cents a piece. So that's flat rate anywhere across America. I wanted to add that the book is, is an easy read. It's not a difficult read. And it doesn't just focus on same-sex marriage no, and abortion. It, it focuses on the law of God and how, you know, each, each of the laws of God, each one is important. So it's not just about you know, same-sex marriage and abortion. It's just saying that just as same as, as we have the thou shall not commit adultery commandment and we have the thou shall not kill commandment, we also have the remember the Sabbath day commandment. Mm -hmm. So it takes you to the Sabbath, but it also looks at the other commandments that we are breaking in the society. So I just think that, you know, mm -hmm. b because people might say, well, this is all about same-sex marriage and it all about it. Isn't. No, it's not. It links together it, service and obedience yes. to, to the will of God. You know, you, you, you talk about the book is, I don't want to say in your face, it's a, it's a, it's a clear call to service. Uh, if you want to read a clear call to service that's, that's in your face, read Great Controversy. Mm -hmm. Great okay. Controversy pulls no punches. Mm -hmm. it is not, right. It's not a book that hides anything. It kind of pulls right. the cover off the Great Controversy. Right. And we're told in the Spirit of Prophecy it's one of the books that is meant for these last days. Mm -hmm. Well, I see this book in that train, mm -hmm. something that pulls the cover off. The, 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 the whole idea of commandment keeping and surrender to God is the burden of that book. That's that right. you can't take one from column A and column B and reject this and reject that. It's a, it's a package. Uh, part of that package has to deal with our breaking of the commandments. But it's, it's bigger than that. It's our service to God. And as such, it is, as such, it is a book that is for today, that is for now, and that needs to be distributed. And, and what really hit me as I was writing it Moses, like the other one, we wrote with the world in mind mm -hmm. to give to the world. This one is for the church hmm. and the world. And the world. Because people in the church aren't doing, we, we say, well, to others, well, you should keep the Sabbath, but we ourselves aren't keeping some of the other commandments. And we are supporting them uh, by our actions and in our schools and our universities and even churches. And so this is the book that I'm suggesting we get, make sure every member gets one, mm -hmm. that people read it, then take it to the public as well, because uh, I know the Lord placed this on my heart, and I believe that this is important to get out. Uh, we'll talk about a new book that you've just started that you think this one is going to touch off a, a storm. Wait till you hear her new one. I don't know, you don't want to give the title yet. No. <clears throat> but she's getting copyrighted, but just in case there's no confusion. But this one, I'm telling you, mm -hmm. is amazing. And uh, she was reading it to me, chapters and her outline, and it's something that is way past due. So thank you for listening to the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the so, word, the, the <clears throat> title, I want to also speak to the title because sometimes people are thrown by the word vigilante. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that they understand we're not vigilantes. We're saying that there are spiritual yes. vigilantes right. taking right. God's law and His Word into their own hands yes. and misusing it and abusing it and ignoring it and breaking it down. So we're not saying that we, 3ABN, is no, taking no, the no. role right. of a vigilante. No. No, it's saying no. that's what's happening in our world. Yes. That's, that's right. what's happening in our churches because the title of sometimes throw people spiritual vigilante. So is Danny a vigilante now? No. <laughs> we're saying that's what's happened in the churches. Right. They've taken yeah. the role preachers that should be preaching the truth have said, we don't need to preach the truth anymore. We need to become like the world. They don't want to hear it. We're not going to say it. And that's what's happening. They're taking down what the Lord is saying is time to raise up. And so we're saying it's time to take the, the vigilantes. It's time to notify them and say, you got to turn around that's this right. thing. The church is not called to bring the, to bring the world, to go down to the world. The church is called to bring the world up to the church. Mm -hmm. See, so don't be a spiritual vigilante, exactly, what, exactly what, the, what the message is all about. Don't be in that category. Yes. 
You know, I, I, you know, I, I say it advisedly, yet I say it unapologetically. Sometimes I'm just so proud of God. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's just, so proud, he's just yeah. so proud of the Lord that we yeah. serve. Yeah. When you see the kinds of things he's doing, the books that are being written, the doors that are being opened, this time in which we live, the penetration of the gospel. Got a letter just this week from a fellow who said he was so angry at God because his wife had died and his pastor told her she's burning in hell. And he happened to watch 3AB and he heard one of my sermons on, on the state of the dead. Mm. He said, man, when I got, I, it was like a light came on him. There you I, go. Amen. I love there God go. now. He said, so when I got to the Sabbath, no problem. You know, I, you I, went, I went through burning hell, the Sabbath. So now, he, yeah. bottom line, he's a Seventh-day Adventist. I Absolutely. went to the Seventh-day Adventist church. I'm ready. I'm joined. I'm in. I'm one of you guys. I'm part of the family. Absolutely. Praise yeah. We want to move on with one more exciting topic. But remember, you can call us now if you want. Um, it's 618-627-4651. Uh, and you can order these books. Uh, 100 is a case is 100. So you can go up to whatever your church, your group. There's a little information. We want to know your name and address and associate you. We just don't want books going and staying in people's garages or mm -hmm. right. being done, nothing done. So if you commit to giving them away, uh, we have folks who had the burden to put up the money to do it and to make it so you can get them for free. You only pay the cost of the shipping. But now we got to spend a little bit of time <clears throat> on uh, Sister Yvonne, Ooh. on a brand new project <laughs> that has taken you years. We've been I talking know. to you for years and you finally did it and tell us what this is about. Maybe we got a picture of it we can show we do. on here. It's Magnify Him, and I'm so excited about it because finally I have another project that I feel this one, by the grace of God, will um, invite <clears throat> the listener to worship God with the music and, and that, <clears throat> that the Lord will use the music as a tool to get to your heart and just have you worshiping Him because it's all about Him. And that's what the, the project is called, Magnify Him. Mm -hmm. And that's taken from the theme song of our Dare to Dream program, Magnify Him, mm -hmm. which, um, which I wrote by the grace of God. So, I mean, I'm just, this is really exciting for me because I haven't had a project out in many, many years, and I feel like... The other was 1990s? 96? 96. 96. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 95? 95. Yeah, 95. 22 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was in a different century. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. watch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad, you know, I am so excited that this is out because I listen to you sing independently, and one of my favorite songs is Just Once More, but there's so many you sing that are so beautiful. And I was saying, when is Yvonne going to record this? We say, come on, you got to get this done. Well, yeah. and finally, it's a praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Everywhere we that travel, people are asking, do you have CDs? Everybody's got theirs. <laughs> Even I have one. CA's got one. John's got Moses. You, you don't have Moses. Yvonne. Doesn't have one. Yeah, yeah. But y Yvonne comes along, and she's the real singer of the group. If I can use that, right. made her living in the in the music industry in New York for years, and the only one without a project. Give us some of the songs and tell us. About oh, them. sure. <clears throat> so marvelous in our eyes. That's the first song, and that's uh, it's up and happy. It's not really up like too far but it's up yeah, and happy okay. and wonders never cease oh, oh, yeah. uh, in Christ alone mm -hmm. my help cometh from the Lord which I love that song uh -huh. just the the feel of it's it it's a big tune yes and it's based, yes, and it's based yeah, on that yeah. verse in mm -hmm. Psalms magnify him just in time which is a song you wrote which mm -hmm. is just a blessing it's one my favorite song to sing with a narration about the second coming of Christ and mm -hmm. all that let your kingdom come which is another happy song some of these are familiar to you, and some of these you you haven't heard. Good, we want to hear. We want to learn new ones. Just once more. Yes. I re-recorded that, and your grace still amazes me, which I just oh, I love. Oh, that's a great song. That and praise His holy name. Mm -hmm. So there are ten songs, and um, and each of them to me just they they all have special meaning, but I, I hope that they mean something to you as well. So. Okay, and so this good. is for Dare to Dream. This is going. Yeah, to be this a, is a this is for Dare to Dream. It's not it, it's, for me personally. This is yeah, a it's, it's, uh, so uh, when people project support for this. Dare to it dream. actually the support goes to help uh, support Dare to Dream. It does. And uh, the song Magnify Him. You you don't you say you don't <laughs> consider yourself a writer, but that's a beautiful song. When I heard it, I said, that sounds like a real song. And also, <laughs> didn't mean it in a bad way. She's saying, well, I'm not really a songwriter. You know, no, this is a real song. Well, How did you write it? Praise the Lord. Well, you know what? This, again, God is amazing because I don't consider myself a writer, but 
We needed a theme song for Magnify Him, which is the music program mm -hmm. on Dare to Dream. And so I said, Lord, would you just give me a song so that we can have a theme song? And I mean, the Lord gave me the song, the melody, the words, just boom, boom, boom. It was, yeah. it was just amazing. And so that's what this is. And so we decided to name this project Magnify Him because mm -hmm. we really want to magnify the Lord. So a Absolutely. I, I love it. It's a beautiful song. And, the, and God did impress you. There's no doubt about it to write, to write this song. Praise God. Um, also, you, the CD now is going to be, it's available now? It's available right now. Okay. We just got uh, right our shipment Amen in. Right now? Right okay. now. Okay. Yes, All right. So you can call again. Uh, yes. um, call call 618-627-4651. Yep. Or you can email us anytime at 3ABN. And uh, we'll be happy to send that to you. And I'm not sure what it is, but it's somewhere around whatever the rest of them are, $15 or somewhere in that area, I'm sure, right? Yes. And those who are coming to camp meeting, they are, they are available. They'll be available be camp, meeting. camp meeting. Finally. So fine. I know. I appreciate Happy all your support yeah. and all. Thank you. Mm -hmm. so, all right. Thank you. Okay. We, we may have time for a song, which is a song because this has been such a high program spiritually that it's a song that's just an incredible song. Praise His holy name that you did. Um, on our last project, but any closing thoughts before we go to it? To, that uh... I, I, I have one. I've been controlling myself here because, like I said, I'm not a preacher. Mm -hmm. But one thing that uh, impressed uh, me when the CA was tell, telling us that uh, he's proud about God. I am proud of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. And All I right. have to lift up, lift up my hands and yeah. I have to praise him. I have to say how awesome God he is. All right. yeah. He is a God that uh, he cares for people that we don't even know. Mm -hmm. So okay. right now there is somebody watching in Uganda or in Ghana or in Australia, yes. in London or these areas that uh, we are talking that uh, are opening up sure. uh, for, for other people. And he could send an angel he could send uh, somebody else, but he's choosing 3ABN mm -hmm. to get there and to deliver this uh, Three Angels message uh, because uh, he loves that person. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he cares for each one of them, and uh, he's using us. And I tell you, God wants to use you. Uh, you know, he's using uh, Yvonne with yes. this uh, CD, but he wants to use you. I don't want to name uh, people to lift them up, but I have to say like uh, Rodney in uh, Trinidad and Tobago, what yeah. a guy that uh, is so energetic and uh, sure. he is a moving and a shaker in Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. He is amazing in taking this projects yeah. and the distributing and the making mm -hmm. fairs and doing things. Uh, we have a tremendous guy like this, uh, Booker, in, uh, in Uganda. Mm -hmm. I have to tell Booker, you have a special place in heaven for you. Mm -hmm. uh, he is uh, doing tremendous things in Uganda. We have uh, Elizabeth in, uh, in Ghana. She is a tremendous lady that uh, is doing also a lot of uh, uh, communication with the government there and helping this process. We have people all over. Yeah, uh, yeah. Rosemary and the John in Australia and these people. God is amazing. All right. So it makes you want to praise His holy name, right? Uh, yes, That'd does. be a good segue into <laughs> Miss Yvonne singing, Praise His holy name.
Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise, praise his, well, his holy name. Oh, praise his holy name. This has been an incredible program. Thank you so much for joining us today. We do want to mention this coming Wednesday starts camp meeting. Mm -hmm. And right. so that reminded me as this was on our last year's camp meeting, I think 13, 14 preachers going to be here. The Exposing the Counterfeit is the name of it. There it is, June 7th through June 10th. Still come. I know that all we got 60 some odd camper spaces and they're all reserved, but you can, we'll, we'll make room for you somehow come and we want you to be here to enjoy this time together with us. So our camp meeting starting this coming week, uh, Wednesday through Saturday night, tremendous amount of, of sermons, music, testimony. It's going to be a great Holy Spirit filled time. Please come and join us. What I'd like to do, we're so thankful for what's happened today yes. and to see what God is doing. Thank you for your love and your prayers. Ask the Lord what he would have you to do for 3ABN financially. If he's impressing, please send a tax deductible gift. For those of you overseas, you can go to PayPal, send, send uh, literally through PayPal to us also. We want to go out in prayer tonight. We're going to pray even as we go off the air. So we want you to join us and be praying that God will continue to open these doors and we can meet one time forever in heaven. C.A., would you take us out in prayer? Lord, we say yet again with the Psalmist David, this is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Mm -hmm. Lord, we are exhilarated and inspired and humbled and made so very grateful to see the move of God in the body of Christ in these, the last moments Amen. of Earth's Amen. history. And we are humbled to be part of this great move of God. Yes. And Lord, we ask only for fidelity and faithfulness mm -hmm. to stand at our post of duty and do that which you have called us to do. Yes. Every place, every time, everywhere, for as long mm. as you've called us to labor, oh Lord, give us faithfulness. Yes. And then let us see the salvation of our souls and be satisfied for the great work that you have done mm. to save fallen humanity. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for your work and for your blessings and for your love and for your faithfulness faithfulness to the children of men. Yes. Oh, we praise you and thank you, dear Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.